To create a floor in Autodesk Revit, you use the Floor tool. The Pick Walls option on the draw panel allows you to select existing walls for the floor boundary. With the cursor over one of the walls, you press the Tab key to automatically select all the connected walls. A floor boundary line is created. You can simply select the double arrow symbol to swap sides if necessary. You can select additional boundaries and use the modify tools such as break and trim. Once the boundary is created to your specifications, you simply accept the layout. In a 3D view, you can see that the floor is created. Additionally, there are several tools in Autodesk Revit you can use to create roofs. You use the Roof by Footprint tool when you want to select existing walls as the boundary of the roof you create. You can specify an overhang for each boundary edge on the options bar. You can also specify whether or not the edge is used to define the slope of the roof. If I do not use this option, a flat roof is created. I simply select the walls and a roof boundary is created. In a 3D view, you can see that the roof is flat. You can edit the footprint of an existing roof to change the layout and properties of a roof. In this example, watch as I select the outer boundary edges and define a slope. Notice that the walls are automatically extended up to the roof 